about this player. He was saying that there was like this one little Mac that got top 24 out of Japanese event earlier. And I'm gonna assume it's this one. I feel like I've actually There's seen around quite before. a few of them actually. We have Anzu, we have Dane, and then we have Hatch Haripotori. Okay. Okay, so let's see what he's gonna be able to do off of this. Obviously, he's not gonna be able to edge guard Snake. Um, you know, if he has to recover low, you might be able to get some cool things off of that. Okay. But overall, this is gonna be a really hard slug test for him to just kind of get out of here. All right, so this is neither game nor the other really good Little Mac player we have. This is someone completely different. It's Tata Kotori versus Dio Snake. Oh, and Dio. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Japan is full of really good Little Macs. Really? And they all <laughs> use this That's so weird. <laughs> I mean, for this stage, I feel like this would be the optimal pick to have. Just kind of, you can sort of blend them in the background too. Okay. Well, I got some bread and butter coming through from Little Mac. So definitely one of the high, good things about Little Mac that he's always had is ridiculously good ground speed, and because of that, he can hard punish. Um, he can hard punish Snake pretty easily just for trying to land. So definitely something you can take advantage of. Oh, and that's the thing is you can't bust through his armor like that. Yeah. Oh my God! Such good presence of awareness right there to go for the haymaker in the air. The air maker. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good stuff. That's how I would put it. So unfortunately, we did lose the KO punch uh, from Tucker Cody, but, um... Oh. Oh, yeah, that's... Stuffing up the Nikita, but gonna get hit yeah, by the no, second there's not one. much you can do there. That's where it's always gonna be rough for the little Mac covering, especially against Snake. Okay, no jump from Snake, but you're a little Mac. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, Grenade gonna stop his momentum there. That's gonna blow up the... Oh, my God. So right now, all he's doing is going for those trades, just because he knows he can max him. Oh, God! Dang! <laughs> that was really smart of him. So, like, when he punches him, not only is he getting the smash attack damage, the grenades were also hitting Snake, too. So he was, like, exponentially multiplying the amount of damage that was going there. And using the new aerial, um, well, not the aerial KO punch, the fact that he goes more vertical with it, too, is damage. He's trying to combo off that grenade, too. This is such a wild matchup because usually Little Max is kind of character that can <laughs> down smash at center stage. Yo, Little Mac, little guy over here, Tata Kodori is popping off. I would pop off after that too. Like, you know, I got thrown off stage twice and I died. I had to earn that. Yo, I've never seen people popping off in top 96. If you get a grand finals, you no, kind of earn it. This is top 24 now. Yeah, we got a little Mac player top 24. Hot dang. Yeah, no. Ooh. That's, that's a hot Mac. Oh. <laughs> I, and I want to say that down smash shield poke. Like, I didn't see him drop a shield, and if he did, he, it probably would have been a parry at the at the frame that he was yeah, going right? after there. So, kind of crazy stuff right there. And the other thing, too, is with that down smash, it was going to hit a grenade, too. So, it would add an extra shield damage to it. Was that a double dash attack, or am I just ignorant? <laughs> nah, that's just, that's just Mac. Wow. <laughs> Oof. Mac attack. Okay. Oh, he got so lucky about that. Just just enough to get it over there. That was there. pretty much the only option he could have picked. Yeah. Oh, man. I kind of had a read on that roll in there, but you're not giving it to him. Catching it, but not catching it. Just a little bit too late there. Early. Oh, man. Going with the mix up there. Just jumped right in front of him when he had that shield there. And Dio just wasn't ready to respond. Traditionally, Little Mac thought of as being a character that doesn't have the privilege to stall in the air like that. But yeah. Tanak Kodori showing us what he can do. Okay. Uh, yeah. I got stuffed out there. You're dead. That is so safe. Oh, yeah. So the snake just sits there and hits you with the Nikita. Oh, yep. Got hit by the grenade right there. Back up from Dio. Yeah, so at this percentage, bad. we're probably going to start seeing Dio going for those down setups. Ooh, excellent attack. Yeah, that's going to do it. Bad DI coming from Dio right there. Did, did the red flash spark didn't go off? means he probably had a way to survive that. Smart coming from Dio there. Yeah, I, don't see, I don't see him getting around that Nikita setup anytime soon. No. <laughs> like, Dio has to miss. That's it. <laughs> yeah, Dio has to not be a god with the Nikita. First counter of the game. Okay. Not gonna get anything off. They're kind of showing his hand a little bit. Dio's gonna be scouting that out there. Yeah. I like to see that he's also going for the dang it down angle that smash because that does a lot more shield damage. So that that way it's like he knows he can get those shield hooks later on. And the 
Good on Dio to save all of his resources for that. That's something about this Little Mac, and specifically on Hansu. The other Little Mac, they go for those aerial setups. Nice air dodge back to stage. Oh, yeah. That's it. <laughs> what an interesting reaction coming out from Dio. Yeah, honestly, I don't think anyone saw down, down air really coming, but considering how active it is, it kind of makes the most sense. And with how quickly it comes out, too. So, good stuff from Dio right there. Doing himself after that last game. Either way, depending on the angle, he was still going to get the business because uh, Snake Fair is also oh, yes. very, very scary. Okay, so let's see where we're going to go. So, he did see the Smash Bros. comes out. He wants to go more close quarters. He wants to make sure that these people can't run away from him. So, let's see what he's going to get off of this. It's pretty interesting. I feel like it's not a stage that Snake likes. Yeah. I mean, on one hand, Dio's going to knock him off immediately with any hit that he does. But um, on the other hand, he's got nowhere to run away. So. Yeah. So definitely one thing to keep in mind about uh, Takagatori is um, he is going for reads. Um, most of the moves that you see, that was just he did. <laughs> that was guaranteed the second he pulled out that Nikita. But uh, when you see him play, he's going for a lot of very preemptive uh, Jolt Haymakers. So he's not, for the most part, with a lot of the things that he's doing against Dio, he has a read of where he thinks he's going to be. He's not trying to react so much as to where he will be. I think that's very true, and we are here at Even Percent right now. This is such an interesting matchup, and the way that they interact with each other, because, you know, Moon Mac is usually a character that can be pretty ignorant about what other characters have, and just armor through their stuff, but yeah. Snake, with the grenades, makes you think twice about it. Oh, for sure. But at the same time, Snake likes to kind of sit back and play his grenade game. But Ooh, you can still get in with Little Mac. Great roll. Oh, that was so unwise. Gotta burn the KO punch. Yeah. Oh, I mean, offstage? if he did turn it around, it would have connected, but... Oh man, he didn't have it ready. Kind of looking like some Leon Bowser tech there, catching them with the landing dance. Oh, I wasn't ready to attack it there. Yeah. I thought he was going to go for the Jolt Haymaker, because, like, after Dio angled it down, he was actually guaranteed to make it back as long as he did that. Yeah, I don't know why. He, he was navigating it pretty well and decided to keep navigating it, and that was where he was going to stay. I know uh, he is on his turn. He's on his tournament point right now. Mm. Both these players are... Now he's got Stu's Hawks. Yeah, no, yeah, he's got Stu's Oh. Armory through the grenade hit. That's it, and he, this splash is gonna do it. We that also goes. have KO punch almost on line two. We I'd have last stock situation. Okay, I, I do wanna say that the you know the down tilt setup still works. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he has some very cheesy way to get into it. Oh you're talking just like oh. something into KO punch. I've seen that. That's gone. It's, I don't think it's guaranteed, but it works. Oh, we have the C4 situation. on him. And yeah, you can't do anything about that. I totally missed that. Yeah. Good stuff to Dio, keeping his cool. Dio's going to move on. Valiant Elf.